Hey guys, Crazy Dog 500 back again with another video once again, and today we are going to vacuum form a top helmet piece a customer gave to me to vacuum form. Now here is the piece that I vacuum formed already. I will have a demonstration on me vacuum forming this part, and this plastic is made out of PETG, and this is a port, uh, .40 thickness plastic. So yeah, if you're wondering, I did throw that plastic sheet to the side, or that plastic pull to the side, I mean. That is just a test pull. It's not going to a customer at all, so I could just throw that outside or in the trash if I wanted to. But yeah, so we are going to vacuum form this piece. I'm going to show you how this vacuum former works and what you need to get this vacuum former running if you do get this vacuum former through the same place I got it. And also, this gives you an idea on how to make your own vacuum former away. So it's pretty simple, you have a heater, you have the frame, then the frame goes up to the heater, melts the plastic a little bit, and then you have your vacuum set up with holes and everything. So it's, I would say it's pretty basic. So hopefully you enjoyed this video guys. So here's an overview of the vacuum former. As you can see this whole vacuum former is made out of stainless steel. And this vacuum former is called a tabletop vacuum former because it pretty much just sits on a table. It doesn't have any wheels, it doesn't move around or anything. So to make this vacuum former look legit, I bought a stainless steel table that's made for a kitchen where you can cut fruits and vegetables on, a cutlery table, and to me it looked pretty good. And it works just fine. So I came up with that idea to put everything on that table. Now we got the stainless steel frame. Unscrew these posts on each side to lift up the frame and put your plastic in. Close that down, tighten each post on each side. And then we have the handles on the side right here that you just unscrew, lift up the frame to the top and screw it down. And that is what keeps the frame in position. And then we have the vacuum former where all the air gets sucked into these holes. And this is solid stainless steel as well. And then if you guys want to see what the top of the heater looks like, this is what it looks like. This is where all the wires go for the heater. Just unscrew these screws and then you can just plug all the wires in or if you need to change any wires out. And then you have the wire going down. Pretty simple, pretty basic on top, nothing much, plain and simple. And then on the right side of the vacuum former we have the heater switches. The left switch turns on the left heater, the right switch turns on the right heater. If you put them on on the same time, you're running both heaters. Or if you want to heat up one side of the plastic, you just can just turn on the left side and the other side, vice versa. So let's talk about the vacuum setup. If you buy this vacuum former or create your own, you got to think about the vacuum system and how it's going to suck in the plastic. This former does not come with any type of vacuum setup. You have to either use a shop vac, which has an outlet for that, a pump, or a vacuum pump connected to a tank. Now, if you do the tank method like I'm doing, you need a valve to automatically open up. So what I did with this former was connect a switch to release the valve and have it open up when I want it to, which is connected through this blue wire that you see. Right now, it's a little tacky. I just have painter's tape around it. I still need to cut out a square hole to install the switch, but for now, this will do. So I have that connected to the valve in the back. And then I have a gauge which tells me how much pressure is in the tank. Now, most of the time whenever you get a vacuum pump, it'll tell you the elevation and how much you can go down on this gauge. With my elevation, usually I get about 27. And if you think about it, it's really at 28, 29. So depending on your elevation, it might say you're sucking in 25, but you're really sucking in probably 28. Like I said, just go over your manual and see what it says. Now, you can use a shop vac on this, but you're not going to get a whole lot of detail. If you're using just a vacuum pump straight, you might get the detail you want, but it might be slow sucking in the plastic, and it's going to cool down pretty fast. So I recommend if you want to using the vacuum pump and tank setup I mean you don't have to you can just use the shop vac straight depending on what you are doing 
So that's about it for the vacuum setup. So before I get this started, usually I turn on the vacuum pump to take out all the air from the tank. The only reason why I'm not going to do this during this video is because it gets pretty noisy with the vacuum pump going. So I don't want to make everyone deaf in this video. So right now I got the plastic sheet into the frame right here. So what I'm going to do is tighten these thumb screws down. And it's pretty tight. Loosen up these on each side. Bring it up to the heater and tighten them down. And now I'm going to turn on both heaters. Now I'm going to let this warm up and once the plastic starts to droop a decent amount, I'm going to form my copy. So right now the plastic is softened just enough and I'm going to form my piece right now. And that's it. So here's what the finished product looks like on the vacuum former. Picked up all this fine detail. So this is what the plastic copy looks like once I cut it off the sheet. As you can see, perfect with no flaws. And it fits right over this piece. And it picked up some pretty good detail too on the line. Overall it came out pretty, pretty nice. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, share this video, subscribe. I will have more videos like this. Just shoot me some ideas in the comments below and just tell me what you would like to see in a video. And I can even back and form anything you guys want to send to me, if that's even a thing. I know there's a YouTube channel that they skate things anybody sends to them. You know, send me anything. I'll, I'll try and back and form it. Even if it comes out bad, I'll still try it. Now, if you guys want this vacuum former that I have, the link is down in the description below. Like I said before, this vacuum former is not cheap, keep in mind. But if you guys, you know, have the money and just want a vacuum former, go ahead and buy it. And if you have anything that you want to vacuum form that you can't do yourself, I can do that for you. Make the mold, make the buck. which And the buck is the mold that you can be able to vacuum form from. So shoot me an email. I'll give you details on how much it costs. Just let me know, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And thanks again.